Three years ago, me, my brother Billy, and his fiancée Gwendolyn took on the mammoth task of restoring this stunning French chateau. At first, it was just the three of us. But since then, the whole family has moved in to help bring this place back to its former glory. And not forgetting the newest family member, Baby Ernest. We do everything ourselves, from fixing the leaky roof, managing the vast 60 acre estate, to restoring the grand interiors back to the way they were a hundred years ago. It's not always easy, but that's what makes life in a place like this interesting. My name is Michael, and I'm going to be showing you what it's like to live, work, and play at Chateau de la Bavillier. It's an absolutely gorgeous day at the Chateau today. Um, spring is definitely on its way. Can you see that? That is sunshine. So this is the Chateau's greenhouse. It's about 100 years old and it was made by a Parisian company. And it's still in quite good condition. It does need some restoration, um, but we're gonna to get to that at some point. And also just behind there, you'll see the old gardener's cottage. I've got big plans for this, but I'll talk about that in another vlog. I've just popped into the greenhouse to have a little look and see what my mum's been up to. I mean, normally the greenhouse, we plant this full of tomatoes, cucumbers, but this year she's had an amazing idea because we do weddings at the Chateau, what she's done is she's filled the entire greenhouse with bulbs and flowers. Um, so that what we can do is create all the bouquets for the weddings ourselves. I've just popped into it, have a little look and see what she's been up to. What have we got? We've got freesias, dahlias, Lots of dahlias, different colours. Lilies. What's this? A lot of these are in French, so I have no idea what they are. Uh, that's definitely not a cucumber. I have no idea what that is. A few potatoes there, though. I don't think they're going to do well uh, in bouquets, but they might taste good. Uh, this is going to be amazing. There's so much space in here. And obviously, because these uh, are not outside, they're not going to be destroyed by the wind and the rain. So they're going to stay really nice. The only worry is that they're going to get too hot in the summer. But I mean, I think flowers like hot weather. As long as we open the windows and stuff. I mean, all of these windows here, these open up to let more air in. Just out there is the little herb garden that I planted last year. Doing well. Look, we've got loads of rosemary. That doesn't die off in the winter. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well done, Mum. There's something really cool about this greenhouse. This water butt is self-filling. If you can see here, there's a little pipe. And that pipe is connected to a series of pipes that go into the gutters of the adjacent gardener's cottage. So every time it rains, all the rain that falls on that roof goes into the gutters, down the pipe, along the wall, and fills up the water butt. So there you go, free water. Just popped into the Chateau's wall garden. I'm just having a look at these beautiful primroses. that all popped out. You know spring's on the way when the primroses are out. Look at those, absolutely beautiful. And there are hundreds of them. I can just hear some noise coming from the cottage that my mum and dad are doing up for themselves. I'm going to go and see my dad, see what he's up to. So that is the back of the gardener's cottage, but joined onto it is this larger cottage. And my mum and dad are going to live in that, but when we moved here, it was completely derelict. So they're having to do it up at the minute. All right, dad, what, what are you up to? <laughs> do you mind if I film you? <laughs> What's that for? Oh, it's the window. Yes, the boxes. Have you made the frame for it yet? Yeah, the frame's there. Yeah. And I put these on and I've made a mistake. They've got to, got to come up <laughs> inch and a half. Oh, right, yeah. So there's no problem with the second one. I've done them too. Yeah. 
and uh, I'll dry weather next week, so I'll stick them in. It's going to be nice when it's done. Yeah. Plenty of room. Right, I've got a load of cleaning to do. The place is a mess. See you later. Yeah. Everything looks much better in the sunshine. Look at that. Beautiful little chapel. There we go. That is the chateau's very own chapel. Not as grand as Stephanie's, but it is still beautiful. Now these, I'm not sure about these ones, but I know that the two stained glass windows at the back of the chapel were designed by a very famous stained glass designer. And that is the signature just there of Lucien Lebrun from Tours and it's dated 1883. Now he was a really famous stained glass window maker and I believe some of his windows are in a cathedral in Paris. So it'd be really interesting to go and have a look at those. I'd love to find out which cathedral they're in. But there's two, this one, and also another one. I just pop around here behind the altar. This one, now these, are my two favourite stained glass windows in the whole chapel. And there you can see again the signature of Lucien Lebrun. And this one's from 1880, so this one was made three years before the other one. Absolutely beautiful. There's all of the pews that Billy bought, so surprisingly they didn't actually come with the chapel. There was no furniture in the chateau, all the grounds. Um, so Billy bought these, but there's quite a lot of them and they don't all fit in here, so. <laughs> you may remember, if you've seen Escape to the Chateau DIY Series 1, I restored this broken window. Now that was about two and a half years ago now. And as you can see, it's still there. It stood up to quite a few storms. And it's still in one piece, so. Quite pleased with that. Much as I'd love to stay outside and enjoy this beautiful weather, I've got some cleaning to do. Uh, Gwen's gone out, my mum's out. Billy's doing some DIYs, fixing the boiler, I think. And uh, it's just me, so I'm gonna do the cleaning because uh, we've got Brenda Gibbons coming today and we wanna have it spotless. So all good cleaners need tools. Um, this is the Chateau's library, very beautiful. But it also doubles as a cleaning cupboard. And this, massive wardrobe Billy and Gwen bought was meant to be for their bedroom but unfortunately it can't be taken apart and it's too big to go up the stairs and fit through the doors so we put it here and it's now the cleaning cupboard while I'm in the library I might as well show you a few little things this is the fireplace and I just just have a little look it's black marble uh, and just here in the cast iron bit there's a few little details look there are Honeybees. Here's another really cool thing. This marble bust I love. It's a bit creepy sometimes in the dark. As you can see, the chateau's filled with loads of beautiful things. And actually, when they bought the chateau, Billy and Gwen, there was absolutely nothing in it. Not a single chandelier, no furniture, nothing. So everything you can see is what Billy and Gwen have collected over the past couple of years, probably about five years. Lots of old leather books. Can't have a library without books. So I need, ah, very nice. Lots and lots of things to clean. Ah, no Hoover, right. So I think it might be in the ballroom. Yep, there it is. Actually, let me just tell you about this room while I'm here. This is the Chateau's ballroom. It's now being turned back into the Grand Salon for the Chateau. Now it used to be, two rooms as you can see there's this half and this half now one of the previous owners took this wall out here to make it into a like a massive room so that they could do weddings and have uh, events in here but Billy and Gwen weren't really happy with it because the two rooms were different styles Obviously it's been painted to look similar, but it just doesn't match. The floors are different, as you can see. 
and uh, Billy at the moment is putting it back to two rooms like it was. Now this wall was missing, so we didn't have the original doors, we didn't have any of the original panelling. So Billy had these beautiful oak doors made by a local carpenter and we are currently putting the wall back. So as you can see at the moment it's just clad with plywood and over the top is going to be the beautiful panelling the way it used to be. I'd like to show you these amazing door locks. Look at these. Now these are original to the chateau. Now we've no idea where these came from, but they definitely predate the room that they're in. As you can see, there is the emblem there of Louis XIV, the Sun King. Also on the handle as well. And just down here on this catch, there's also another emblem just there. But they're absolutely stunning and we're lucky to have them. So while I drag this hoover to the other end of the building, I'm going to treat you to a bit of springtime B-roll. Enjoy. I'm currently in the Chateau's dining room. This absolutely massive carpet is five meters by seven meters. So it's absolutely huge. And as you can see, it completely fills the room. And it's a design based on the Ardeville carpet, which is currently in the V&A Museum, which dates back to the 16th century. And this one, a copy of it, slightly smaller than the original, dates to about 1910. And Billy and Gwen got this for about 300 euros. And it's a lot of work to hoover. Are you coming in to make a mess? Much better. Can't have a dirty doorstep. It's the first thing you see. You want to do the hoovering as well? No, I didn't think so. What have you done? It's a good job I'm about to mop, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely. Bit of sandwich on the floor. While I'm cleaning, Billy's outside mowing the lawn. Mother? What's this? She must be getting revenge for when we were kids. Oh, how the tables have turned. Right, well that's all the cleaning done. Time for a cup of tea. And seeing as Brenda's coming today, I might make a batch of scones. And I think we're gonna have some smoky Earl Grey. That's one of my favorites. And if you're gonna have tea, you might as well do it properly. Get that one for me and one for the pot. This cup and saucer is actually very, very old. You can see on the back, it's a booth, silicon china. And because it says England and not made in England, it means it was made prior to 1921. So it's about a hundred years old, maybe a bit more. What are you doing, Ernest? It's going outside. Well, enjoy your walk. I'm gonna make some scones. See you later. You want to say bye? Oh, bye. Hat back on. 240 grams of flour. 
think I'll make double actually. So 480 grams of flour. It's a bit strange filming yourself doing stuff. I don't know how my friend Stephanie does it so easily. Like, what do you say? It's just you and a camera. A bit weird. I'll get used to it though. There's more where this came from. There they are, having a nice little walk. Okay, that looks good. Looking like breadcrumbs. Now I need to add the egg, the sultanas, and some milk. And then it's ready to put in the oven. Oh, actually, I need to turn the oven on. Oh, what am I doing? They need to be hot scones, don't they? 220, I think. Oh, completely forgot. I'm not even having my cup of tea. Well deserved, I think. Pop those in the oven. I'm going to tidy myself up. I'm just going to check out Billy's mowing. It looks amazing. Really transforms the place. I can't believe it. Ready? Look at those. Perfect. You don't call them rough scones for nothing. Come in, come in. Brenda Gibbons has just arrived. Uh, she's a bit camera shy, so I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and chat with her, a few scones, and we'll get back to you in a bit. <laughs> say that again, Brenda, what did you just say? I have a great face for the radio, but not so good for the television. I think you've got a great face for, <laughs> for television, but I respect your wishes. If you don't want to be seen, you want to be elusive, like the elusive Nick, then... Yeah, we'll have to get another brown paper bag for the two <laughs> Got this. Yes. <laughs> I'm sat here with the elusive Brenda Gibbons. She's just popped in and she's given me some more gifts, which I can't believe. So I've got... I've got two amazing teas and a whole selection of chocolates. You didn't have to do this, Brenda. But you know I like it. Fun. You know I like it. Yes, it's all good fun. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Can I just say, Brenda Gibbons, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Better in person. You've got to meet her. Maybe you'll see her one day. Oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. The crack's good. <laughs> What, where's the, where'd you get these from then? Yeah, so they're from um, this we tea and cafe yeah. on the square in Laval. Ah, okay. And it's all cobbled. Yeah. It's a cobbled square and it was very, very quaint. Oh, I love Laval. Yes, yeah, it was very, yeah. very quaint. The crack's good. Yeah. Looking forward to your new vlog. Well, you're going to be in the first one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be in the last one. You keep the best to the last, eh? Yeah, yeah well, you can be in the last one as well. No, there, there won't be a there last one. There won't be a there last. There won't be a last one, no. Definitely not. Oh, no. Shane, what are you considering? There's not <laughs> going to be a last. No, hopefully that'll continue. But, I mean, it's the first vlog. I don't know what it's going to be like, I, you know. I mean, Stephanie's done so many. I mean, her first one. Have you ever seen the first one? It's very, just... Really not really a lot in it. She just sort of sat there, does a bit of talking, yeah. shows a few things, and then that's the end of it. But it, it, she's the built confidence. It up. The confidence, confidence has changed. I'm full of notions, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm full of <laughs> notions, so I wonder what notions that I can come up with now over the next wee while. Yeah. What do you think? Will we take a notion? Oh, should it coming back again in the summer? Go to the land. Mm. Yeah. See the mad Jerry, the mad Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to meet Jerry. He's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leland won't know what's hit it. I'll definitely be there when you're there. Just tell yeah. me when you're going, I'll be there. Yeah, all, <laughs> all the Celts together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The crack will be good. <laughs> Brenda's just left. Can I just say, we had a fantastic time. We chatted for about four hours, and she's the loveliest woman you will ever meet. Uh, she didn't want to be seen on camera, but that's fine. I got to see her, so that's more than makes up for it. Um, completely knackered, I've had such a long day. Got loads done. Uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and go to bed, I think. Look at that nice cup of tea there, lovely. Ah, 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 ah. 
nothing to see here. Good night.